Now we're ready to map our I.O. To do this, first select your safety CPU, configurations and setup, and I.O. map. From here, we have many fields we can see, such as our position with our node and unit number, our port, if it's read-write, data type, and variable. And also under, notice under port that we have listing our I.O. modules. In this case, we're going to select the SID 800 input module, and the first input is an e-stop. Now this is a dual channel system, and you might think that it makes sense to put in both inputs, but we don't need to do this since it was already listed in our nodes. Go ahead and keep using the pull-down list to keep entering your input devices. You can see this is quite a large system. Whoops, even the pros sometimes mess it up. Simply cut that. If you would like to use the pre-designed variable names, simply select those fields, right click, and go to Create Device Variables. This will enter in everything for you.